Hey, good morning. Figured we might go on a walk. Uh, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 58 degrees. 29 degrees. <laughs> So, um, so good. Let's go for a walk. It is, it is cold outside. And, uh, so here we go. Um, holy crap. Look and see. There is, get out of the sun. There is ice on the water. Oh my word. That is crazy. That is crazy. There is frost on the ground. Wow. So, it is cold. Um, 2022 has been one heck of a year. If you know me, I'm going to try to make this quick, but probably talk way too long. But uh, get to the point. Dang. Uh, you know, I think some of the funniest things. I got uh, a couple friends that say, uh, man you do weird things you know or or whatever and i know they mean it as a compliment i love you jacob um uh, uh rob um everybody else um <clears throat> saying you know but but it's the weird things is is what god puts on my heart and uh and it's been an amazing year. Uh, I got amazing uh, friends, amazing community, and I want to step into 2023 um, with with so much passion and uh, so much desire for for people and something on my heart. Uh, I do the the chasing alignment in the morning, but God's really placed it on my heart. If somebody wants to show up and do chase and alignment in the morning. It still has got to be at the same time, but I'm going to put it online so that you can do it with us. And, uh, and, and it's, and, and a lot of the things it, it, it may seem weird. Um, but, but they get results. I, I won't step into even this new year or anything to do a challenge. I don't do it by a challenge. Uh, God has shown me that there's a place to set covenant with him. And when you set covenant with him, it's amazing in the Bible, he's actually the one walking through the covenant. So you can't even fail, but there's a way to it. There's a serious part of what a covenant is. And um, even to the point with a covenant, they cut like a cow in half, lay it on one side and one side. And the people, when they go into it, walk through it. And once they walk through it, they say, if any one of us fails at this covenant, may this happen to us. That's some pretty wild, heavy stuff, you know, but people don't even think about that anymore. But this next year, I'll be setting covenants uh, with God to be able to do that. Um, if this is something that you've set out in challenges to do years prior and you haven't succeeded at those challenges or your life is 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 just the same old same old and and no transformation uh no no excitement no passion no drive uh i encourage you to join join in on that online stuff or come here to my house in the morning if you're close enough uh, it's Monday through Thursday, uh, four days of, of very intentional stuff. And then, uh, forget the cat, <coughs> cat's drinking the water, golly. But, um, <coughs> it's very intentional, but you know, the biggest part is about what chase and alignment is. You're going to come here and you're going to say, I already heard this, or you're going to say, you know, um, <laughs> like, <coughs> I already know this. <coughs> And that's not the point about whether you already heard it or whether you already know it. <clears throat> it's the things of being able to say like, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Or being able to say, <clears throat> I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward through Christ Jesus. Being able to talk about things, talk about scripture, and then actually still in action do something about that. It's a huge difference 
There's so many people sitting on the pews or sitting on the <clears throat> sitting on the couch talking and trying and practicing and studying and everything to get better. But there ends up in that there's no action in that. I'd ask you to to think about you know thoughts, speech, actions, habits, character, which creates your destiny. In that is what we do is in relationship with anybody that shows up here or that will be online. And that's the biggest thing. We're practicing body, mind, emotions, spiritual, relational. <clears throat> the first part is we're gonna be going over like the voice in your head, being able to listen to that voice, notice that voice, but true freedom, and this is through Christ, true freedom for me is being able to notice the things of the mind and then really be able to choose to not even do what the mind tells me to do. The mind says no and it tries to protect me. And I train very intentionally every single morning to be able to not have to listen to that voice. And so that is the journey of consistency. Consistency and chasing after love that I, that I bring to you. A whole plateful of weird things that if you ask me, I'll explain why. But when you have something that ends up being a vision that God gives you, it's in there, it's in your thoughts. It's already been in your heart where he put it. It's in your thoughts. You speak it. Then it's about the actions. Those actions create habits which create your character, which is gonna be your destiny. Which direction are you gonna go? Are you gonna go for a challenge and use your will and try to inflict your will to succeed? God has given me something that through time and consistency of showing up, it's a way to be able to see those things and then being able to choose. And uh, the best part is we get to do it in relationship, which that's the way that he intended. And uh, being able to get off the pew, get off the couch, and then go head first into 2023. Come join me in doing some weird things that absolutely help you see the things of your mind. It helps to control your emotions <clears throat> and chase after the things of love which God has for you. Much love, much respect.